<clears throat> um, that's the problem. That's the spot that I'm in where I'm I'm in between, I'm in this spot of tension where I feel this I don't even know how to describe it. Desire, this just, hunger, yeah, hunger. Just want more. I ha and and I have this really really big hunger cuz I believe there's so much more in me and I have to I have to get it out of me not just for myself but for other people and and the only person the only reason it's not happening is because of me yeah I think we just feel like we're not operating because of us. how we're wired to like operate it like so therefore there's not like that wholeness there's not that you know all the I don't know the benefit of like letting out what's in you and really seeing yourself operate at your full potential. It's not even about doing more, having more, any of that. It's just like we're talking about like the, the mentality behind it, like the culture that we make for our kids. And, and then on top of that, like just how it feels to us. Like, yeah, that, that fulfilling life, we're just not there right now. Like we have God, but we're not not implementing him I, I, feel like I think it's and... it's the conversation of of like you know f fortunately like we're, we're debt free right we don't have any real financial stress um, we <clears throat> we go to church or she'll lead worship at other churches um, we've are you know this year we've we've given and to we're giving to the world, um, we're... But it's like all, it feels like all, like, we're just, like, getting by. And it's just, like, just enough to, like... Right, right, right. So what I'm just, well, what I'm making an effort to describe is I'm trying to give everyone, you yeah. know, people watching, like, you know, to be, in our life, like, you can look at things and it's not one of those, like, oh, they have it all and they're still not happy kind of deal. Like, I mean, we're not, we don't live in a giant giant home or like <laughs> you know it's not like that kind of deal but it's it's you wouldn't really maybe figure that we're not a good place is that what you're no i'm making i'm making um i think what i'm making the effort to describe is i'm trying to paint the picture like oh well, that's really good where, where we're at where we're at like oh that's the life to aspire to mm -hmm. and what i'm saying is no we're not even close right we're not close that there's, that there's, uh, and this is what's hard because we're just seeing the problem right now. We don't have the solution for you yet, but we just see our, when we say more, and that's what we need to work on articulating and writing it down so we know what the heck we're trying to do. Yeah. But I, we, I take a moment to break down the, those five aspects of life because we see ourselves growing in all those areas of life. And right now we don't feel like we're growing in those areas of life. And, and what's on the line, if we don't do that, our marriage will suffer. Yeah. We'll go backwards. We'll, we'll, or even worse, even worse, we'll slip into this complacency yes, or this mindset yes, of where you're just right. getting by. Exactly. You're living this dull existence that there's no, there's no life. There's no, you know, you're, you're, you talk yourself into living this life where you're like, well, you know, things are good and we're kind of, nah, nah, like whatever the hell that is. Like we just don't, we have no patience for that. So, like, what does it take? Do we need to get, you know, real with ourselves first, and and be real with like, I'm un I'm unhappy with this. So we've had those conversations. So you know, and us talking right now, like, yes, it bugs me that, you know, Beth, I I feel like sh she could, and it's weird because we actually both agree on this. Say it. <laughs> that. I view us as a team and there's just support there. I feel like she's pulling me down because there's just simple things that aren't getting do done. Um, so if I'm the sole provider for the family and she wants to be a stay-at-home mom, but I'm also 
cleaning the floors and vacuuming and bleaching the showers and cleaning the toilets and taking out the trash and doing the dishes and cooking food and I'm just I, I do that and I'm exhausted and I can't sustain it and she does she does help and she does do these things and she is awesome with Emmett but it just doesn't even make sense because that's what I have wanted to do is be a homemaker and taking care of our baby but like there's just something in me where I feel like I'm not capable of taking care of the home and so I just like don't do it and it's such, I don't know, it's so weird. We do. That's part of our journey of me being like, it's not even hard, like I can do that. It's not like I don't know how to clean, I don't know how to cook, like I know how to do it. So it's just... You you are more than capable. <laughs> and definitely capable, it just feels weird to... Um, I think look long term and be like oh man I can feel like this is just you know what a stay home mom does and like, that's all they do is think about what food they're making or always cleaning up something cleaning up everything cleaning up after everybody and there's like a fear in me of like if Chris gets used to that then he will kind of take advantage of me that way and maybe he'll be more messy or maybe he won't do anything around the house and so it's well, I pulled back to be like do minimal stuff and then he's doing a lot but it doesn't make sense because he's working full time for us and he's providing for us so it just makes none of us feel good yeah and ultimately you know some of my thoughts are like I just want to know how to love her and support her in in this so that's some of the first questions that go go through my head so you know, I don't want to point a finger and like, well, I do this, so you should do that. Like, that, shut up. Like, that annoys me. You know, so it's like, well, what do we need to do? Like, and and what, and that thinking has led me like, okay, well, I don't want you to feel bad, so like, I'll just do it. And so I do. But then, you know, I end up being the one that has to keep it all going, and I, I just can't do it. Um, and that's part of the problem. The other part, uh, or thinking is, is like okay let's just have less yeah like I love you and want to be w with you and I don't like let's get paper plates and just throw them away and not have dishes like let's just get rid of the work then <laughs> and we both are kind of on board for that a little bit too because we always are like okay we still just have like our small two-bedroom condo that we're living in so let's just get rid of more and more stuff more and more stuff and I think we just keep getting to the point where we're like but what else can we get rid of? <laughs> like, I mean, the truth is we probably could, but it just gets to that point where you're like, don't we need that though? Or don't you need that shelf? Or don't you need like, I don't know. I feel like we've gotten rid of stuff, but it's still, yeah. Just looking for solutions and having something that makes sense. So we have this problem of, of wanting to grow, but we have these things in our way. We have ourselves, our thinking, our habits, our fears, our fears, um, and the goal of where we're going is we, we want to grow. We want to build a stronger marriage. We want to love each other more, and all of that is more important than getting our way or being right or or living life a certain way. Like we just want to figure it out together. So I guess we're going on this journey of. Yeah. And I don't know what's going to happen. Like, maybe we're just going to get rid of everything and live in an RV. It's on the table. It's fine. Um, or, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know, but I feel like there's, there's definitely adventure coming. Yes. Yes. Let's do this. So the next question and the last question for right now is... Are you coming on the adventure with us?